Are we learning? Number four. Huh. The fourth reason. Why many believers do not receive. Are you ready? Refusal to acknowledge and glorify God through thanksgiving and testimonies. The reason why many believers do not receive or do not sustain what they receive is the refusal to acknowledge God and to glorify him through thanksgiving and testimonies. Psalm 22, 22. Psalm 22, 22. I will declare thy name unto my brethren, it says. In the midst of the congregation, I will praise you. Not just in my room. In the midst of the congregation, I will announce to them. You see, let me tell you this. Sometimes, when we have the liberty of time, and people are healed or people are delivered and we ask people to come forward to testify it achieves many reasons attesting to the fact that the man of God is anointed is the least of the reasons you need to know that it is a spiritual system the Bible says 10 people Jesus gave an instruction to 10 lepers is that in your Bible and he was on his way passing and yet he remained there he stood there and the Bible says only one came to give thanks when they saw that they were healed, only one came and Jesus said, he didn't even say, oh, thank you, you have done well. He said, were there not 10 of you? Where are the remaining nine? And the Bible says only one was made whole, even though the rest were healed. Are we together? It is beyond a man of God. There are certain levels of lifting when God has lifted you. Proving certain points of anointing and power is unnecessary again. Are we together now? with all due respect and with all humility trying to prove whether god is in this house or whether we are not is childishness god has already stamped a signature that can never be erased are we together now so when you ask people to come when you ask people to testify you are it's not just proving that the man of god is anointed number one you are letting the nation see like we always sing that Jesus is the same yesterday, today. There is an unbeliever depending on that performance, that miracle. And then number two, it helps to concretize it in the life of the recipient that God is truly at work and finally seals that miracle. Have this at the back of your mind. There are many of you today, what was glory was turned to shame because when God did it or when it started, you felt that I cannot testify. No, I'm too big. Truly, the pain has left. My God, this thing he said. So the pain has gone. I, I can't feel the growth again. Or this one, I can now move my neck. But can I come out? It's too far. I'm seated at the back at the overflow. Or I'm seated at the basement or anywhere. And whilst you are doing all of that, God is watching you. And then you give room. Because every time spirits leave men, they intend to return. Is it not in your Bible? They intend to return. One way we come into fullness is through thanksgiving. The fullness of anything is achieved through gratitude and thanksgiving. Anything God gives you and it is not yet in his fullness, you can complete that equation and move his hand. Let the people praise thee and he says, the earth shall yield his increase and God, even our God, will bless us. God, you gave me tea. Where is the bread? And God says, what are you talking about? It is tea and bread you promised me. And God will say, that bread is still far from you. Because you cannot say thank you for tea. Someone, the tea is not there. Just because the ingredients are there, you begin to dance and roll. And say that the ingredients are there means that I can make the tea. And while he's saying that, God says, I will not only give you tea and bread. I will give you a factory that now makes it so you can bless others. <laughs> Believe what I'm telling you. Your rent has not come. But how about the 50,000 someone gave you? It's too small now. Can I tell God, thank you because of 50,000? And God says, 50,000. Whereas that's somebody's prayer request. Number one self. All right. So if you cannot, if you are too big to give me thanks because you think it is too small, then you rather remain at that level. Is the reason why we thank God for any and every miracle in this place. You see, one major problem with ministries that experience the supernatural is that they get so, too used to so, what we call notable miracles. 
And once a miracle is not outstanding, like rising from the wheelchair, throwing a crutch, a blind eye, visibly blind, opening, and something, once you hear someone say, oh, I can now move, you just clap carelessly, like I just have to do it so that God will not, can, the Bible says, which of you by worrying can add one cubit to his hair? Anything that God does is deserving of my gratitude. There are times I go to minister and almost all the testimonies are maybe just corrective things, nothing necessarily notable. I celebrate God in that meeting as if it was dead people that came back to life. Are we together? Yeah. I'm expecting a job tomorrow. Oh, the job did not come. But an old friend called me. We had a meaningful discussion that planted hope in my mind. Father, thank you. Because even though this that I expect is not here, I am grateful because I already see your hand moving. Someone shout, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let the devil hear you say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you for doing the things that only you can do. Only you can do. Only you can do. Do not peg yourself to only celebrate God for spectacular things. Everything God does in my life is deserving of my communicating gratitude, no matter how little. And when you learn that with God, no matter how great you are, you can translate that to people. No matter how big a man you are, someone can come and transfer a recharge card of 100 naira and it looks laughable, but you will say thank you. You will take the time to send text messages and say, may God bless you because that 100,000 will come with a gratitude that is worth 1 million. Are we together? Is the reason why certain people start, I'm digressing for a moment just to press a point. There are people today, do you know that generally speaking, if someone keeps giving you 100, 100,000 every day, a time will come, you'll get so used to the 100,000 and then your expectation will rise and you now say, I have two children. Oh, this man started giving me 100,000 three years ago when I did not have a child. Now I have two children. Is he aware of what is happening in Nigeria? And one day you, the courage will be rising gradually until you build momentum to say it one day. Thank you, but by now, that one million should have gotten, that uh, hundred thousand should have gotten to one million. And both God and the man will agree that you deserve to remain there. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. One more time, say thank you, Jesus. thank you, Jesus. Again, for someone, this is your own revelation. Go back and find the top five people that have shown you kindness consistently and tell them I came for miracle service. And I learned the power of gratitude. I have taught you here. I will keep teaching you. Send them a text. Not the type you will send. Then two minutes later, you are begging. Don't beg. Just send a text. You know, believers have funny ways. Calvary greetings in the blessed name of our Lord and Savior, the resurrected King and Savior. Amen. Just to keep in touch. Just, and, and network will not even allow that one get there. And then the real request comes. I'm reminding you again that rent has increased and uh, it's like I've not heard from you. Is it that you don't care about me again? And it suddenly makes the prior gratitude look fake. There are times for no reason. Tell people thank you. Thank you. Are you learning? Church for you. Church, I told you, is the cheapest institution that sponsors transformation. The cheapest institution on earth that sponsors transformation is the church every other institution has age range quotas if they take 10 people out of south south 10 people from northeast that's it sorry for you age range gender prejudices but for the church all that is required is your availability and the meekness to receive hallelujah refusal to acknowledge god can i give you one more let me make it five, huh? The fifth reason.